What's up? Audubon Dan here in the flesh. Yes, you get me in the flesh on this video because I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, you saw the thumbnail. We have all the way from the UK, the Milwaukee FPDX. We're gonna get onto this one. Sorry for the acoustics. Part of my dust. I am trying to get uh, this tool shed together. It's getting close. By the end of the summer, we're gonna get something going on here. <laughs> I promise we'll get something really nice on here, but uh, we're panning out here because it's a rather large box and we're gonna get right on in here and see what we got inside. All right, here, hopefully I can stand up for a little while here. I'm on uh, one and a half legs right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, from my injury back in October, yeah, it was back in October, I'm doing a lot better now. And hopefully we'll just get down in here first and then we'll take a closer look after I get up everything out of here. Um, where? Where did I get this from? I got it from Adzi's Tools in the UK. Search them on Instagram. I'll put the link down below, see if I can link down their, their page. Uh, prices, uh, you're gonna have to message them uh, on pricing because the shipping fluctuates and the uh, Euro and all that, I don't know, you, you'll get a different price. So I'm not gonna mention any price on this video. Uh, just message them and uh, they'll take care of you. So, and they do ship worldwide. Why? Why did I get this? Because of this bad boy right here. This is the Fuel 240220. 240220. Sorry for the acoustics here. Uh, we'll get through this as fast as I can here. This guy right here, love it for interior work on cars and uh, the clutch and it has a drill mode and screwdriver mode. It's a fuel. And the next one after this, I, I'm, I'm going to just leave it right there. I'm just going to leave it right there. I don't like the reverse switch on the bottom, on the top right here. And I don't like the, uh, the little phaser thing in the front. You can't nose in anywhere. I want to be able to nose in places. When you're a mechanic, you want to be able to get this nose into places. You don't want nothing up here in the way. That's why we have 12 volts and it's a small battery right here. Get into places. Uh, the only improvement I would like to see on this particular tool right here is lighter and smaller. The head on that new phaser one, I, I call it the phaser one, it's a little tighter and it gets into places, but this piece right here, I just don't like it. Just, uh, I don't like it. Let's, without further ado, let's get in on this box and uh, see what we got here. Love this thing. This is the Tajima Rock Hard 25 millimeter box opener 2000 just this thing is just insane got the uni light shirt on another uk lighting company cool lights all the way from the uk we got we got a uk video here <laughs> what, what can i say we got a lot of packing material here wrapping here let's see here we have bubble wrapping let's get out here. very cool case this seems to be like an L box style here here we have the kit number here the M12 FPDX kit dash 62 X if you can see it right there we're gonna get closer in so just uh We'll do some dimensions here and uh, little observations on the box. That is cool. Look at that. Sweet. We have some kind of a interlocking feature here. It looks like it locks the lid. Might be an interlock. I'm all I'm all new to this, so I've never seen this before. There you go. Slides up. Looks like it locks another box. So right here, probably if you have another box on top, this will latch on top. Of the next box so that's cool right there and then dimensions we'll go over dimensions real quick here where is my tape measure yeah you won't see these boxes here in the united states so might as well measure it 19 so 18 and three quarters just under 19 and the height we have just a little over 14 i'd say 14 we have the L-box style latches here, and it feels spring loaded a little bit. Mm. There it is. Let's 
dig on in and take a closer look at what we got inside. All right, here's a closer look at the case. And uh, it is not called an L box. It's called a transport case. Milwaukee EU website says it's a transport case. Uh, I can't find anything else on what, uh, what it's called. It doesn't smell like a pack out. That's what I know for sure. <laughs> no pack out smell coming from here. It is brittle. So keep that in mind. It is quite brittle. And a little crack right there. Uh, I don't know how long these will last, but they do sell replacements for these uh, latches right here that latch into the next one over. Uh, there might be another size here. This one is five inches high, I believe. Yeah, it's about five inches. And uh, yeah, there's another size that's bigger. So these just latch on to one another and then they snap in and they do it carefully. Oof. <laughs> I don't know how long that will last, but uh, yeah, just a brittle case. And uh, let's get in. These are spring loaded. They got foam in the back and voila, there's the unit. Uh, this is how I ordered it from them. I just wanted the case and the unit itself, the, the bare tool, which is uh, four pieces. The charger, a US charger, that I have, this is my charger, fits nice and snug, so it's identical to their charger. Uh, their plug has some weird thing here, but our plug is a lot smaller, so there's plenty of space for our plug, USA plug. Um, the spots up here are for your torpedo batteries, and also fits the 4.0 battery. Both of them fit nice. There is a little space down in here for bits and whatnot. Lots of outer space, more outer space there and space down in there. And these batteries fit right in there as well. Lots of space back here. And each little piece has its own designated area, nice and snug. And yeah, that thing sounds gnarly. Let's try it with a regular torpedo battery, or let's put the 4.0 here. And yeah, let's put the regular torpedo battery in. Pretty light, it's actually a little lighter than the other one. Let's do a quick comparison here. Pretty close. And uh, most noticeable how short it is, because there's no chuck, but uh, yeah, pretty short. The bodies are slightly different in the front here that's more like a a stubby on the front right there as you can see and this is this is more pointed in the back so yeah pretty close same handles and uh yeah we have professionally made in china by milwaukee electric tool prc and here it shows Windenden, Germany, and made in the PRC. It's got all this other labeling up here. Very interesting. 12 volt. Hmm, huh, pretty cool. Yeah, so yeah, there you go. There's a comparison to both of them on size. We got speed one, speed two, uh, 16 clutch settings, a drill mode and a hammer mode. This one doesn't have a hammer mode. It has a screw mode and a drill mode with 18 clutch settings. Love this car. This thing is awesome. Oh my gosh. This thing is my favorite uh, collet of all. It springs it out super easy. Uh, this is kind of heavy, but see, I love that. One-handed operation and then one-handed operation the other way. Just love that, look at that. One-handed and it's out. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite Milwaukee Chuck of all. Oh man, this thing is amazing. There's no magnet in there, so it doesn't stay in there. It shoots it out. I just love that. When you have one hand tied and you grab this thing and you can grab another chick, <laughs> Chuck, grab another Chuck and, um, 
yeah, do it all one hand. That's one thing I like about this one. Just wish it was slightly smaller and stronger. That's all. That's that's the only thing on this one. But yeah, um, still learning this one. Yeah, it does feel lighter. Uh, we'll do a little weight measurement in a bit. And yeah, that is pretty cool right there. That is one gnarly chuck right there. <laughs> yeah, no, the switch is on here. Not like the phaser one where the switch is up here. Love that. Nothing different about that, nothing special about that, and it's the way I like it. I know some people don't like this switch, but I love it. So, yeah, one of the reasons why I got this. Um, the 90 degree chuck is full rubber coated, nothing plastic, but this part is plastic and indexable. So you can index it everywhere, pull the collar back. You have to pull it out completely and put it on the spot you need to. But other than that, yeah, the collet on the phaser one is a little bit smaller and out of the way. So these are bigger. Um, the Bosch has a slide click thing. I don't like that. You have to, if you have a pair of gloves on, you got to slide this thing. It's just, oh man, I don't know about that. I think I did try it. I'm not 100% sure if I remember trying that. So it's just a click and you got to slide it. And yeah, I just don't like that. I like a nice big collar so if you got gloves on you can easily grab this and index it anywhere you want so that's that's cool right there and yeah each that's another reason why i got the case yeah i definitely love that everything's got its own spot the drill is a half inch drill chuck here let's see here there we go locked oh that's an easy unlock there Bad. Oh, once again i dropped that yeah there you go that's pretty cool nice bright lights and uh yeah what else i might take that clip off oh, that's easy i can deal with that definitely nice and this spins around this doesn't index yeah this won't index all right covered everything else um Here's the sheet that it came with. This is the fuel section, and that's the part number there, FPDX kit. So this is all the fuel tools they have over there. Uh, this could be old though, but uh, pause it there if you want. Here's the brush version, the BDDX kit. And uh, yeah, maybe a few things here that are different, but most of all, it, most of it looks the same. Here's the M18 side. Yeah, most of it looks the same. Yep. Oh, the numbers are weird on that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, these look like uh, imitation battery numbers almost. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is the um, flyer there. And here is the specs right there. It gives you the Newton meters on one and a half amp hour, two amp hour batteries and three amp batteries and four amp hour batteries. That is kind of interesting because uh, you won't see much uh, torque ratings with batteries over here. That is one thing to look for here. I'll pause it. You can pause it right here if you want, but that's very interesting. Not many power tool companies will give you the specs per battery. And uh, yeah, uh, usually the battery is a capacity thing and not a power thing. So yeah, um, that turns out to 327 inch pounds for the 37 newton meters and 389 foot pounds. That's insane. So this thing's got more inch pounds than um, this. So this one has 325 uh, with the rating here, 325 inch pounds. And we have 389 inch pounds with a 4.0 battery with this. So that is cool right there. Uh, the new uh, installation driver, the phaser has 300. <laughs> it only has 300. And the Bosch has 300 too, the brushless Bosch. So yeah, I we got a little bit more oomph in that one. So that is cool right there. Let's measure the weight on the 240220 with a 2.0 battery. That's two pounds, 5.5 ounces. And 
This one does feel lighter, two pounds, almost four ounces. So it is lighter. That is cool right there. All right, just want to do a quick, just a real quick demo on it. I want to know what the uh, clutch sounds on the hammer drill part. <coughs> yeah, it's kind of like a raspy feel. And uh, yeah, let's go out. <coughs> Same out. Let's try speed one. Not much of a difference. You can feel the gear reduction on speed one. Let's try drill. Definitely can hear the speed, the gear reduction on that. Oh, it's pretty fast on speed two there. And there is an actual 17 position uh, clutch on it. So yeah, that is cool. And this is an electrical clutch, I believe. Let's go down to four. Let's try the electrical clutch. Let's try it on one. Yeah, so it controls the torque electronically. So it's more control when it's lower down here. Turn it down to two. There we go, yeah. Seems like it's got good control. Starting to split the wood there. But yeah, I could feel that uh, you gotta play around with it a little bit. So the uh, torque control on the, com the electronics in there cuts it out. So nothing weird so far. Just gonna play around with it for a little while longer. And uh, depends on what you're working on too. So that, uh, how it is so far. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's uh, do an overview on it and uh, finish this video. So there you have it, the Milwaukee M12 FPDX. Worth every penny? I think so. Awesome, check out Adzi's Tools on Instagram. Super long number right there. I have no idea how to dial that number, but message them on Instagram for any quotes or any questions on this. They threw in these lovely stickers. Warning, here comes the king of the trade jungle. Warning, gas leak at the rear. Warning, some people aren't just missing a screw. The whole toolbox is gone. <laughs> Warning, keep your snake chakras off my tools. And once again, guys, thank you for watching. I need to stop dropping me chicks.